Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can load a single feature class and an external table into a new ArcGIS project. To start off, we need to locate the compressed folder and extract our data. Right-click the compressed folder and select Extract All and Extract All again. Inside the compressed folder, we find a GDB file. GDB stands for GeoDatabase, and this is where we will base our project. Now, let's open ArcGIS Pro. If you cannot immediately find it, the best solution is to just type in Pro or another keyword for ArcGIS Pro to search for the software like this. To the left, you will find your previous projects, such as Exercise 2. In this tutorial, we will be starting off from scratch, creating a new blank map. In this dialog, you can name your project as you like, but something like Irving Fiede is beneficial. Underneath, you can see the path where the project is saved. Now we have a blank map. ArcGIS Pro comes with these pre-generated map services, like this one labeled GeoCatch Basis. We will uncheck it because we are not in need of it for this project, and, and just, just projecting this may use an unnecessary amount of your computer's RAM. To the right, you can find the databases in ArcGIS Pro. This is where your content is saved, and it is beneficial to have all of your feature classes and tables stored in the same database. When creating a new ArcGIS project, the software automatically creates a file geodatabase for you. But as you can see, this one is empty, and we need to find the geodatabase that we downloaded. Doing this is easy. Right-click Databases and choose Add Database. Navigate your way through the document catalog and find your geodatabase and select it before you press OK. To make ArcGIS Pro save all of your work in the same place, you need to make it the default geodatabase like so. Now we can remove the previous database, as we are no longer in need of it. At last, your layer is in the project saved in the default geodatabase. You can now just drag it into the map window, and it will appear both here and in the table of contents to the left. As seen here, the map may look a bit weird as it is cut off randomly both to the west and to the east. This is because the projection that my ArcGIS Pro uses by default is the UTM Zone 33N. This projection is great for Norway, but completely useless for global mapping. So we will switch the shown projection to Winkel Trippel, which is a global compromise projection that is never perfect, but minimizes distortion for area, direction, and distance. And therefore, a good projection to use when producing a global map. Now, we will import the table that you saved from SPSS into ArcGIS Pro. In order to do this, you right-click the geodatabase, find Import in the drop-down menu, and choose Table. To the right, the table to table window will appear. If we click the drop down menu to select an input table, we see that we can only choose from the layers that are saved in the project. In order to import the table, we need to find it in the folder to the right. Navigate to where you saved your dbase file, select it, and press OK. The output name can be the same as the input name, so mine will be called Verden 2014. Press Run. When the processing is done, we will instantly find both the feature class of Adenlom and the new external table in the table of contents. And you are ready to edit the layers.